Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I've decided to record my Zwift races for my kids in the UK, Jake and Heath, and anyone else that's interested. So we're starting off here with a 10 minute warm up. I'm gonna fast forward through the, the different sections. Yeah, we're coming up to our first six minute interval at 155 watts. I'm going to fast forward it so it doesn't get boring for everyone. So I'm just going to show you the different intervals. So you can see on the screen we, we're pushing 155 watts at 85 RPM and my heart rate is 134. So that's quite low. This is just a foundation ride. So it's not meant to be a very difficult ride. This is just to rack up the kilometers. So we're coming now to a rest period of two minutes. You can see in total we've been riding for 15, 15 minutes, nearly 16 minutes. Okay. And now we start our rest period. So what should happen here is my heart rate should come down. But I think because I'm so unfit, I don't recover as quickly as some of the other riders that I watch. And that's what's also so nice about this game, is that you can compare yourself against riders that are in your league, you know, and try to improve your fitness So the story behind why I started cycling was about two and a half months ago I decided that I wanted to get fitter and I was battling with my knees. So I, d I decided to start walking instead of running and then it was still sore so I had to go to a doctor. Okay we're coming up to our second interval here, six minute interval at 155 watts. And so after seeing the doctor, she advised me to start swimming and to uh, ride a bicycle because of the impact on my knees. And she said with cycling and swimming, the, the impact would be less, which is true. So what I've found is with all the cycling and the swimming that I'm now doing, my knees have improved enough that I can actually run. So I'm not running a lot. I do one one to maybe two runs a week but last week was a good week for me because I managed to run a full five kilometers before that I was doing a, a run walk so I've been watching a lot of YouTube Zwifters and and other YouTubers that are on uh, weight loss journeys and I've become quite inspired by some of them. So I thought that by doing this channel, you know, it would be a nice way to keep my, my sons that live in the UK, Jake and Heath, up to date with what their dad's up to in South Africa. But also for other people that are thinking about, you know, improving their, their health and maybe losing some weight. I've lost quite a bit of weight in the two and a half months that I've been going so far. I was 131 kilograms and I'm down to 118 kilograms. So I'm drinking lots of water. I don't, I'm not really dieting, I'm just eating healthy food. So I'm just eating a lot of vegetables and, and you know, I eat uh, meat probably once a day, so either chicken or, or beef today but I'm not over the top on the dieting thing I, I prefer to lose weight by increasing exercise I enjoy my food a bit too much but I find drinking a lot of water helps so I'm glad to report that I'm feeling much better my knees are, are, are not perfect yet but I think if I continue you know over the next two or three months I think that my knees are getting stronger and I've also decided to enter the Asuzu 70.3 Ironman on the 2nd of June 
next year. So I've got about eight months to train for that. Currently I'm swimming, you know, I, twice a week. I'm just, every time I swim I'm doing about two kilometers. So I don't, I don't think I, should, I will have a problem with the, the distance on the 70.3 Ironman swim. And also the ride, I think if I can continue to train on Swift for the next eight months, I, I should be, you know, fit enough to complete the distance on the, on the ride, definitely. The only thing that concerns me about the Masizu Ironman would be the run. Um, so I don't want to, the idea is I don't want to push it too hard while I'm still quite unfit. I want to be able to, I'm running five kilometers now, I'm running five kilometers in 32 minutes. So I'm just trying to get my time down on the five kilometer to under 30 minutes. And then I will, if I'm feeling comfortable and I'm not feeling any pain in my knees, I'll start to increase the distance, you know, by a small amount weekly. Okay, so we're coming to the end of this rest interval and we're going into our fourth interval of six minutes. So for anybody thinking about losing weight or getting fit, I think the number one thing that has helped my fitness has actually been the Swift game. It really is so much fun that it takes your mind off the pain that your body is going through and um, makes you concentrate on, on the goals that the game sets for you. And, and you, you can actually track your fitness levels from the, ga from the games that you've finished. You can actually see your improvements on your pedaling power and heart rate and all these metrics. So it's very nice to be able to see the tangible results of your training, you know. And it's a lot easier than, than running And there's so many things that you can do on this game. You can either do the training courses, which this is one of the, the training courses, the FTP uh, builder course. So I'm not racing against anyone here. This is just a training exercise with intervals. But uh, you can join races, you can race against friends, you can, you can meet friends from anywhere in the world. Can, you, know, you can meet up with them, you can chat to them while you're riding. You can choose all these beautiful courses within the game. So, and they've got to the the races that I like are the short races, the five to ten minute races, because that really pushes your heart rate up into, you know, zone five. So that's great for your VO2 max and uh, yeah, it really, it, when you've got competition, I, you know, I hate to lose, so you push yourself right to your limit and I mean, these, a, lot, it's, a lot of these riders are really fit, so you have to push yourself just to keep in the front pack, you know. Um, I have not done a lot of races I did one and I got dropped quite quickly so I decided to rather do the FTP builder um, course to improve my fitness and then I'm going to go back and see how I perform so I'm looking forward to that but I'm in week two of the six week course I still have a while to go before I finish this and I mean, I'm riding already, it's an hour a day. So I can't really do much more than that. 
So the, this last six minute interval was broken into two intervals uh, with the cadence at 100. Now we're dropping into the second interval with the cadence at 70 RPM. This is a lot easier to ride at a slower RPM because you don't bounce in the saddle. You know, I find when I have to pedal at 100 RPM, especially being a new rider, my butt is very sensitive from all this riding. And it's quite uncomfortable to ride at 100 RPM. I, my comfort zone is between 70 and 85 RPM. Maybe, maybe that'll change as I get fitter. But yeah, I find it easier to pedal at a low RPM. And my legs are surprisingly quite strong. Uh, I can push high wattage, but not for, not for very long. But you see, the, the game also takes your weight and your height into consideration. So, you know, if I hit a hill with other riders and I'm pushing four, five hundred watts on that hill and I weigh, you know, 118 kilograms and I'm two meters tall and the other riders are pushing, you know, 300 watts, let's say, that's the route complete. Um, you know, it takes your weight and your height into account. So they actually go up the hill much faster because their weight to power ratio is better than mine. So their watts per kilogram is better than mine. So that's what we're really interested in in cycling is you, how much wattage you can push per kilogram of body weight. So because I'm much heavier and taller, I, I need to push a very high wattage to keep up with the other riders. So hopefully that's what this FTP builder will do, will increase my watts per kilogram over the next six weeks. Okay, so we're coming into the end here now. What are we, 50 seconds out from the cool down period. So we got all stars for, if you look at on the left hand side of the screen, you can see that we got stars for each one of these intervals which is nice and I and I did this on a hundred percent you know sometimes when I do the tempo the more difficult rides I have to drop the the difficulty level down because it's I can't I just my heart rate just goes through the roof hit the arch and we done Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my first video on, on YouTube and yeah, I'll give another update in a week or two. Maybe I'll do a swimming video or a running video, try and mix it up a little bit. But yeah, as of today's date, I'm 118 kilograms, so let's see how much weight I've lost by the next update. Thanks for watching and seventeen seconds to go now. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we finished that in 53 minutes. Thanks for watching and yeah, that's it. Cheers for now.